Hello, my name is Eddie Tofbik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. Here is your daily technical analysis of Brent Crude Oil and Spot Gold. I'll start with ICE Brent Crude Oil Futures. A fourth bearish black crow yesterday and a continuing more than suitable follow-on lower to the recent interesting key reversal down. The market continues to explore the downside. Prices went and closed below the 50% Fibonacci line of the April 2021 to March 2022 move at 70 at 77.54. We now have below the following supports. The May 2019 high at 73.38, the September 2019 high at 71.99, and the 2020 high at 71.75. Overhead we have that 50% Fibonacci and then some free air until last week's lower 8061 and then the interesting 61.8% Fibonacci line of the 2014 to 2016 move at 8186. This move down was the lowest low and low close this year. Now, importantly, as I've repeated here for quite a while now, we are still, still well within both bear channels. I previously spoken a lot about the twin bear channel idea I had for this market. We had a late July to date bear channel, currently 71.29 to 88.64. The upper bear channel line had previously been broken but has repaired itself. This is the smaller of the two bear channels. We also have a second larger bear channel idea. Both the bear channels have the same lower bear channel line, currently 71.29, originating from early August. But the second larger bear channel utilizes the March to date downtrend currently at 99.92. There is one other item, a bit of an elephant in the room and one I've previously mentioned many, many times. It is a November monthly key reversal down. This week's action have been has been a good starting gun for the current move lower. So it's well worth taking, taking that into account as well. So far today, higher open, under the 50% Fibonacci line at 77.54, but not really going anywhere as prices stay close to the 50% Fibonacci line. I still wonder whether this market has the bottle to try further down. There is certainly enough ammunition to accumulate overhead to give it a try. Spot gold, a bullish white Marabozo that was simultaneously halted from going higher by the declining long moving average, currently at 1791, and from closing beyond the formidable congestion band between 1779 to 1788. This time, instead of the short moving average, currently at 1765, the congestion at 1771 was the base of the move up. In the big picture, we still have overhead target X2 in the 1815 area. This is the primary target topside for the late September, early November triple bottom. The secondary hardest to reach target X3 is higher up in the 1862 area. Most of these actions appear to have withdrawn what was an early vindica vindication of the large monthly key reversal up we saw in November. Yet if we consider the following, that the, let's be honest, the weak looking short moving average has managed to stop the recent decline, what does that teach us? Does it mean that possibly the bullish incentive is still there and the market is trying to smoke out the bears with, with seeming recent moves that haven't really gone lower when all indications were that they ought to or might do? All this is worth considering. So far today, well, not much um, as prices appear to be trapped within the 1779 to 1788 congestion band. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit. <laughs>